Sport's always about fun, but deep-seated roots of surf lifesaving is about what we do on the beach. It's about what we do in our patrols, and it's about making sure every one of these competitors, when they turn up to patrol, and they're keeping their eyes on the ocean, looking after all the members of the community that are out there, they're ready to be able to respond to whatever they need to at any time. I think we're still the only sport that has pretty much a mandatory community service aspect to it. You've got to give before you get. So in lifesaving, you've got to do your patrolling, volunteer patrolling on the beach before you get the opportunity to compete at state. So it's really unique. So you'll have your people that will do their community service, their patrols, because they want to compete. And then you have the people that when they sort of want to move away from competition, they'll still be heavily involved in the community and that giving back spirit. Across the year, we get about 15,000 entries. The sporting events that we do, it's all about the athlete. However, we can't run these successfully without the input from the volunteers that are, you know, officials, that are water safety, that, you know, behind the scenes doing the first aid. As the coordinator, it's not just the provision of first aid, it's the coordinated approach that we do, and ongoing welfare of competitors and officials and everyone else on the beach. So for me as a competitor, the people behind the scenes basically means that the sport exists. It's run by the book, but in the interest of both competitors and the officials. And they're all disciplines that go towards making our lifesavers better and rescue ready.